Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can monitor the progress of data sent via a pipe. So are you ready? Let's get started. So just in order to explain that, let's take an example. So for example, I have this file here which is called downloads.mp4 in my desktop. So let's try just to copy it to the same directory so I use the command cp or copy then the file name then the file name that I want to copy so here I will call it for example downloads or backup it's better backup.mp4 okay so now when I hit enter the file downloads is getting copied to the same directory but as you can see, I have no indication about how many time it took or the estimated time for the operation to complete or any progress bar or nothing. I have just a cursor here that blinks. So I have to wait till it finished its job. So I have no indication. So in order, so now it's finished. So you can see that I have here my backup file but I have no indication how much, for example, the operation took. So in order to solve this problem here, we have to install another command called PV, which stands for Pipe Viewer. So I'm using Ubuntu, so I'll install it using apt-get install the PV, okay, I'll just hit enter. So will install the uh, command actually I already done that okay so now in order to use this command it's pretty easy now let's say that I want to copy the same file to another directory so instead of using the copy command I can use the PV command in order to monitor the task so I will PV my download here file and I will use the pipe to another directory for example so I'll copy it to a directory called home I mean uh, download for example I will just call it uh, backup.mp4 okay so now I will hit enter so now you can see the progress of the copy operation so I have here the estimated time at the end I have the time elapsed and also the transfer rate as you can see here and the most important is the progress bar okay now it's finished I can see clearly that it took around 16 seconds so it's a better way to use the copy command okay so here I'm using PV instead of the copy command as you can see it has many advantages okay so now let's try for example to zip this file here i can also use the pv command for that so i'll just type pv then the name of the file that i want to zip i will zip the same file here downloads so i will use a pipe here and the program to compress my file so i will just use the zip uh, command then another pipe then the name of the result file so I'll just call it for example backup.zip and I'll hit enter as you can see now the zip file is being created and I have at the same time the progress bar the transfer rate the elapsed time and the estimated time so all I can see the progress of the operation and the progress of the task but if you use the zip command without the PV command you cannot say that you all, you all have to to wait till the end of the operation okay so you can see how useful this command can be so you can use it with the tar command you can use it with a lot of commands so here I'm just giving you some pretty simple examples how to use this command so we are almost done here we are at the 
80% now okay it's going to finish soon et voila it's finished it took almost here a minute 11 seconds and at the end i have here my backup that zip file okay and finally i can just use it in order to see the progress of the the operation so let's say for example i will use it just to to read how many lines a file contains so i'll use the pv command so for example i will check just a text file here program that c plus plus my desktop so i will pipe that to wc command and et voila as you can see here my file has almost 23 lines 56 bytes and almost 478 uh, words so as you can see the pv command is very useful so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye